Hello family, it's Drina. Listen, I was doing some reflecting and watching some old videos. Here's one that is very relevant today. And it's about not allowing people to have an unrestricted pass to move around in your life. Check it out. And my prayer is that someone will be helped along the way and that someone, um, even if it's just one person, uh, will be uh, encouraged and motivated and will do things differently in your life, um, things that you have control over that could have a different outcome than my situation. There will be another part. I'll go uh, more into detail about my experience um, in the county jail, how I dealt with that, um, how it affected my family, how it affected my children, um, what visiting looked like, mm, the letters I received, the, the commissary packages that was sent to me, the support I had from my pastor. I just want to say this. Stop giving people an unrestricted pass to move around your life. People are going to talk about you regardless if you're doing good or if you're doing bad. That's just people. That's just life. You can only depend on God. You can only trust God. You can trust God that your spouse is going to be faithful to you. You can trust God that the job that you desired uh, in your heart and you finally got it, that it's going to work out. You, We can't even trust ourselves half of the time because we say we're going to do something and then don't, or we say we're not going to do something and then end up doing it anyway. So really, at the end of the day, put your trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and don't lean to your own understanding and in all your ways acknowledging him and he will direct your path. People are people and it's just as simple as that. They are human. And everybody don't look at the world the same way you look at the world. Everybody is not looking at you the same way you look at you. You got to be solid in who you are. And sometimes that means uh, changing p things around, stirring up the stink, moving uh, shuffling people in different places on different shelves and on different levels in your life so that you can move forward, so that you can find your happy place, so that you put yourself in a position where nobody can steal your joy. First of all, they didn't give it to you and they cannot take it away. You have one life to live. Approximately three scores in 10. What is that? 70? I'm 49 years old. Well, I'll be 49 years old. I've already lived over half of that. So what am I going to do with the rest that's left? Am I going to use it trying to be a people pleaser and trying to do what um, pleases other people? No, 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 no. Those days are over. Get tired. You got to get sick and tired of being sick and tired of being a people pleaser, doing what you think somebody else wants you to do. And then when you don't do it, then they get upset with you and have an attitude with you. And these supposed to be the people that love you. That's not love. That's called toxic empathy. And it is unhealthy. Stop. Stop it. I implore you to be true to yourself, to be honest with yourself. And if you have a social media platform and you want to put it all out there, just know that there's going to be some backlash. I have to know that there's going to be some backlash. Everybody is not going to be happy with uh, what I have to share or my story or how I live my life or what I do or what I don't do. But guess what? I'm not going to roll over, do some tricks, fetch a bone, and tongue fight with a lizard in the desert trying to make somebody else happy. No, that's not what I'm going to do. Them days are over. I'm not trying to sound cocky or uh, full of myself or anything like that. It just, uh, it hurts my heart 
When people say they love you and then they don't show it, they only think about themselves when it comes to what they think you should be doing with your life and how you should live your life out loud or how you should tell your story or what you shouldn't do or what you should do. It's your life. It is my life. God gave it to me and I have it to live. And at the end of the day, the only person that's going to be standing with me in front of my maker is me. And up until then, the only person who is guaranteed to be in my life forever is me. So I have to be true to me. I have to be true to my vision and my mission and my God-given purpose in life. And I implore you to do the same thing. Do some soul searching. Let some people go. Change your way of thinking. I promise you it's going to be all right. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. Y'all have a good night. Talk to you later.